Lamar Jackson's ball security and injury history are both very good. Very good. For a guy who runs as much as he does and all that stuff, his ball security and injury history, no, no issues there. But Key, Jay, if he's now thinking, I got to do a little more, he has turned the ball over more than we're used to seeing. But and he has having a back issue right now. But remember, though, uh, Max, he turned, had three turnovers in one game. Mm-hmm. So let's be fair. It's not like he's doing it every single game. Every, you know, that's not, he had the three turnovers mm-hmm. in the one game. Um, can you ask a question? You can ask right away. What, what's Baltimore's record? Two and one. Okay. I, you know, one I, loss was close. I, so I just sometimes it's funny for me, like when we get into like these narratives about players, and obviously he has to do more, or the the turnovers. Man, look at the man's record with what he's dealt with thus far. Like, and yes, you can go into this whole description about well, it could increase his opportunity to get hurt. But Lamar Jackson is special, and you want him to continue to be special because I think it's going to make it better when his teammates actually come back to play. Well, well, well the. I, Why are you I, laughing, I, Key? Because you said you want to ask me a question. I know it was more of a question into a statement, <laughs> damn it. You know yes, what I he mean. He made a statement, but, but, but like, that's... Well, where's you the asked question? me a question, I gave you the answer, then you just ran with it. I like, know, I couldn't help myself. Leave some meat on the bone for me is all I'm saying, Because it frustrates me. But you know the what? issue now, guys, is Lamar Jackson has now missed two practices with... Let me yeah, tell you what scares me. What Back injury scares me. Back scares me. Yeah, but I don't, know, me. I don't know what that means, though. Is it? Is is it... A back injury, or is it a back spasm, tightness, tightness yeah, yeah. and they just want to loosen it up to get him going? Clearly, he's going to play. Not worried about that. The, the, this whole, and I had this conversation with, with Dan Orlowski yesterday, and, and Dan is convinced that the offense needs help from the receiver position. The offense needs some hands from the receiver position because Lamar Jackson has been delivering the football. They just got to catch it. We came into the season talking about the the passing game needs to evolve. Oh, the passing game needs to evolve. Yeah, they're not going to do it. Lamar Jackson got the offense going in the right direction. But it's, this, it's, the, it, it's, it's how the story is being told about Lamar in the offense. They didn't get Bateman for nothing. Like, no, they're they, going he's to never utilize him, though, Max, when he's healthy. Yeah. But we came into the season concerned about the passing game of Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Lamar's made some amazing pa- – Lamar's, Lamar's fine. He's they got to catch the football. Furthermore, he's made some amazing plays this year out of the – like, amazing. But they didn't get Bateman for nothing. They have never really given him – not not a tight end. I mean a receiver – who you go, boy, that guy is actually an above average all around receiver. Well, they've never given they've never given the Baltimore Ravens. Right. They, I mean, the last was Smitty. Steve Smith was there, but he was at the end. Prior to that was Derek Mason. So they really never uh, Anquan Bolden was there, but but he was yeah, it wasn't a the same. Football player, too. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't the same. Certain situations in teams don't believe in a number one true home run getter because of their style. Well, but Bateman is Bateman is just an all around receiver. I but wonder, he becomes their one. Yep, he becomes their their one receiver. Hollywood Brown is a, a deep threat that has all the speed in the world, the quickness, but he has a case of the dropsies going all the way back to last year. He drops the football a lot. We've been focusing a lot on Lamar. The thing might be too big for him. And by the way, the Vic Fangio offense, right, Denver. But we haven't really talked about Bridgewater, a guy who you love. You lo- I mean, like, Bridgewater been a winning quarterback his whole career. What about Teddy Bridgewater's job against the Baltimore defense? Well, he's got to do what he's been doing, not turn the ball over, get his team. His number one job of a quarterback is to get his team into the end zone. And he's been able to do that. It, it, it's – I do the J. It's a, <laughs> did a laugh, but it's one of those things where we use this word on this show a lot in narratives. That goes all the way back to Louisville, all the way to Minnesota, even in 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 New Orleans, Carolina. Now all of a sudden, people are acting like Teddy Bridgewater is playing out of his mind. No, no, he's not. He's doing the same things he's always done. Damn it. But one of those things is not throwing a lot of touchdowns. And I like Bridgewater, but, but we got to be not, honest is about it, that. Is it him or is it them? 
Because I'm asking you, you. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what it's them. It's not him. It's them. It's the offense in which they want to play. If you look at Teddy Bridgewater's five, I just go to 2019 New Orleans Saints. You look at the five games that Teddy Bridgewater played in in New Orleans. He wins those games. He has a 70, I think it was about 71 complete, 71% completion percentage. He threw for about 1,300 yards and however many touchdowns. His ball traveled in the air the furthest that year than Drew Brees. 39 yards in the air, Drew Brees' furthest was 30. Running-wise, running the ball with the running attack from the running backs, even across Steven across the board. Drew Brees' numbers in the five games after Teddy Bridgewater identically the same as Teddy Bridgewater's five. Except didn't win as much. Didn't win Bridge, as much, Bridgewater, but it's the same. No, no, no. Bridgewater won more. Bridgewater I understand was five that. And I understand that, but it was the same. Um, to your point, Key, I looked it up. You said, look it up. I looked it up. Bridgewater never throws a lot of touchdowns except that year, those five games, nine touchdowns, two interceptions in five games. So it is that, that you make a point that is backed up. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN+.